What is up everybody? So today I am going to be doing a video in regards to the best blueprint for beginners for fat loss. Just in Australia, summer's coming up. In the other parts of the world, you guys, uh, this won't be necessary for you for a, maybe a six to six or seven months, but where I'm from and in Australia, summer is coming up. The sun's shining outside and uh, people naturally want to have their best bodies ready for summer. So I thought that I would make a very beginner based video and uh, help some of you guys out that maybe haven't uh, been in the gym for long or you're just starting or you haven't started at all. This video is going to be in regards to fat loss because fat loss and weight loss are two very different things and I'll get to that later. So without further ado, let's get started. My first tip, tip number one, before I talk about anything to do with calories, training, uh, cardio, food, water intake, etc. The first thing that needs to happen when you're trying to make a change in your body is you need to change your mindset. Your mindset needs to shift because if your mind has been programmed a certain way for a certain period of time, whether it's been a year, whether it's been five years, whether it's been 10 years, it's programmed that way. And as much as you are dedicated and in your mind that you want to change, it's hard for you to do that straight away because your brain, your brain actually has a lot of control in your functions and your cues over what you what you eat and why you eat it. I've actually got a quote here from the US Institute of Medicine and Health and it gives you a bit of a scientific insight into how the brain affects your eating and your health and, and your cues for why you eat certain things when you eat them. Before you dedicate yourself to something, you need to slowly get into the mindset and slowly dive into what you're gonna attack. It's like if you were learning to swim, you wouldn't just first off jump into the deep end and with no experience, with no knowledge of how to swim or what to do, you're just going to fail regardless of how talented you are. You're just going to fail because you don't know how to do it. It's the same with this. You need to take small steps in the shallow end and build up to the deep end where you can go all out, where you can snap like that, where you can eat whatever you want one day, and then the next day, you're ready to smash it out and dedicate yourself wholeheartedly and mentally and physically to a diet or a 12 week cut, cut, like whatever it is. Build yourself up over a slow period of time to be able to dive straight in. So what I would recommend is maybe six to seven weeks before you want to start making a change in your diet. Maybe in the first week, have two days where you eat good and you eat clean and you eat differently to what you normally do. The week after, three days. The week after that, maybe four days. And so on and so on. Build up slowly to where you're at a point where you can change and you can do every single day of the week minus a cheat meal and you can continue that over a 12 week period, over a 15 week period and over an 18 week period. That is really essential that you must change your mindset before you start this thing because the biggest Honestly, the biggest factor of why people stop doing it is because they lose the motivation, they lose the mindset, and they don't, and their brain literally will not allow them to make that drastic change so fast. Tip number two, attack your goals with a partner. I know not everyone will be able to just go and grab someone that wants to do something with them, but if you can find someone who has the same goals, the same attitude towards something, and the same dedication that you think you can put into something, it is gonna be so much more beneficial for you if you can do that with someone. Because when you're doing it by yourself, you are the only person keeping yourself accountable. And if your mindset is not is 90% there, but it's not 100% there, doing it with someone who can keep you accountable, who can keep pushing you, who you have to show yourself to day in and day out, and compare yourself to them, and you don't, you don't wanna be the one who's letting you guys down you don't want to be the one who's failing so you're going to push yourself that extra bit harder and you might end up and you might end up realizing that doing something with a partner and doing it with someone is going to take you so much further than if you were doing it by yourself everything was playing on your mind like even just having someone to talk to about the same situation that you're going through and queries and questions and worries it will make it so 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 much easier if you have someone there with you. So 
I know not everyone has someone, but if you do, try and find someone. There's actually a lot of scientific evidence that shows when you're doing something with someone or for someone or being challenged or staying accountable by someone, your likeliness of seeing something through is incredibly higher than if you were by yourself and the only person that was keeping you accountable was yourself. Attack your goals with a partner and find someone that's dedicated and interested in it as you. Don't settle for a partner that's gonna bring you down. Make sure that if you're choosing a partner, it's someone that has the obsession and the dedication and the drive to see those goals through like you do. Getting a bit deeper into it, but it's still very, still very, getting a... Today, Junior! Find out your body's measurements, your statistics, your basal metabolic rate, your height, your weight, your previous food habits, your previous cardio, your previous exercise levels or exercise history, your previous activities, how much you're burning per day. You need to take into account all these things because if you don't have a basis of what you're, you can go off with your body, you're just, it's like shooting blindfolded. You aren't going to be able to 100% attack something if you don't have the basis of knowing your own body. If you like thought that if you were just eating low enough foods, but you didn't actually know or how much how much calories your body needs to gain or lose, you're just shooting at it, you're not gonna get 100% results. If you want 100% results, you need to put 100% accuracy into the things that you're doing. 100% accuracy into knowing your calories, knowing your basal metabolic rate, knowing your energy expenditure per day, all these things that will give you the, your, the most accurate guide of how you should go about your fat loss. I've put a link in the description to a basal metabolic rate calculator, which takes in your age, your height, your weight, and your exercise levels per day, and it'll give you your exact details based on what, based on all those factors, and that is where you start increasing if you're looking to gain, decreasing your calories from. That's got nothing to do with macronutrients, it's just your calories for now. Tip number four, identifying how low or how much you should drop your calories per week, per day, whatever you're doing, how low you should drop them, and what your macronutrients should be, your protein, your fat, and your carbs. Once again, this is absolutely beginner information, and I cannot stress this enough. If you've been gymming for a while, if you, if you do activity, if you've been eating in a surplus, your body adapts to this, so this, inf this information isn't gonna be relevant to you because you've already either increased your base or lowered it. Because if your basal metabolic rate is 2,200, you've eaten in, in a, in a 1,000 calorie surplus for a year or whatever you've done, your body will have adapted and your basal metabolic rate will be higher and you'll be able to lose weight easier. But this is a beginner video, so I'm gonna go off the basic statistics. So if you're advanced, please don't take if you know what you're doing, please don't take any of this information in. It's just for beginners, and I cannot stress that enough. The general base of anyone looking to retain muscle, or as the ladies like to call it, tone, tone up and, and you know, see definition. The general base for your macros should be that you should be attempting to have 1.25 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. For carbohydrates, you should be attempting to have 0.75 to 0.85 grams per pound of body weight per day. And finally, fat, you should be attempting to have around 0.4 grams to 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. To put that into perspective, if you are a male who weighs 75 kilograms, that means that you actually weigh 165 pounds, okay? Let's say that, you weigh 165 pounds and you're a male. This means that you should have 206 grams of protein per day, you should have 140 grams of carbohydrates, and you should be having around 82.5 grams of fat. Now, of course, it's gonna be different based on what you weigh, how old you are, etc. but this is just a general base and the general consensus in the industry of macronutrient levels and where you should have them to begin or when you're first starting out, okay? So that's a good base to go off. If you can follow that, and you can tailor that into your calories, then you will do 
then you will be able to formulate a diet to start losing weight. So in regards to calories and how much calories you should be lowering and having, if you are that same male that weighs 165 pounds, 75 kilos, let's say you are 175 centimeters tall and you're 20 years old, your basal metabolic rate, so the calories that your body needs per day, doing absolutely nothing but maintaining the active functions of the body, such as breathing, such as heartbeat, and your temperature, your basal metabolic rate, the calories you need per day would be 1,838. So what that means is if you were to sit in bed and not move a single muscle all day, your body to stay at the same weight per day would need 1,838 calories per day. For reference sake, let's just say that this is 80% of the calories you need per day because obviously you get up, not, you don't just sit in bed all day. You, you eat, you do things, you go to work, you go to the gym, you walk around. So let's say that you increase this by 20% to 100%. You would need 2,205 calories per day. A 20% increase from 1,838 calories. Your maintenance level is actually 2,205 calories. So that's where you start off. With those macronutrient numbers and that calorie number, you can formulate a diet that is going to be able to um, allow you to lose weight and strip things back slowly, week by week. Generally, I would advise people to start slow and maybe drop their calories in the first week of them cutting under their that under that basal metabolic rate that they need. So under that 2,205 calories for that 75 kilogram individual. I'll drop them by 50 to 100 calories and see how your body responds. The next week, week two, you could drop it by 50 calories. The next week, you could drop it by 100 calories. But don't decrease your food so low that you cannot give yourself the macronutrients. That's when cardio comes in, and I'll talk about cardio soon, but that's when cardio comes in and it gets you that extra step further in pushing further into that deficit rather than sacrificing eating food. That's where you should be having your macros at, generally on a base for a beginner and your calories at and how much you should drop them by. Tip number five, do not rely on more and more cardio, okay? Okay. Doing cardio is absolutely essential. It's a, it's a great tool that can push you further into a deficit and it can get you leaner, it can, it, can, it can really help you if you're wanting to keep your food and your macros at a higher level. But when trying to lose fat, more cardio isn't necessarily better. When your body is put under aerobic and cardiovascular stress, it will adapt. So when you start doing cardio, however many minutes you're doing, it will adapt over a short period of time. So you cannot underestimate the knowledge that your body has over what you're doing. You will adapt, your body will adapt, and you will need to increase that number further. So the duration you're doing cardio, you'll need to increase it further. This is a massive mistake that I see a lot of people make, and I made it myself when I first cut. When I cut down for the Arnold Classic, I shot myself in the foot with cardio. I started so high, I started at such a long duration for my first, from 12 weeks out from my photo shoot to when I got to the photo shoot that I had to do so much cardio, I was doing almost two and a half hours per day, two sessions by the end of my cut because I started so high. Whereas what you should be doing is first week, start with 15 minutes, second week, start with 25 minutes, then 30 minutes, 35 minutes and slowly increase that and your body and you won't have to be pushing your body to crazy limits when it comes to cardio. There are only so many hours in the day and you can't just rely solely on cardio and the more cardio you do, the better. You need to be doing the right type of cardio. You need to pace yourself with your cardio and the duration that you're doing it in. So don't rely and don't do more and more cardio and don't just jump into the cardio doing an hour at the start because you will shoot yourself in the foot and you'll end up having to do two hours plus of cardio to get the same results that if you started slowly, you could get with 45 minutes per day. Finally, tip number six, learn to identify the differences between fat loss and weight loss. 
Okay, losing fat is the art of losing fat. It's not losing weight. When you're losing weight, you don't know where it's coming from. It could be coming from your muscles. It could be coming from just your fat. It, like it, you don't actually know where it's coming from. Yes, it's great to lose weight, especially if you're if you're huge. If you're like obese and and you're struggling to literally survive, if you are doing cardio and etch, you're going to burn fat because you have so much of it. But if you're reasonably size, if you're a reasonably sized individual, Losing fat is what you want to do. If you want to tone up, if you're a girl and you want to tone up, if you're a guy and you want to retain muscle and look lean and shredded, losing fat is the route you need to take, not losing weight. So a major difference between losing fat and losing weight is when people, when you hear people say, all that matters, literally all that matters is calories in versus calories out, which is what I explained before when you drop the calories and you're in a, you're in a deficit, you're in a caloric deficit, which means you're eating less than your body needs per day for energy. This is not all that matters when you're trying to lose fat. When you're trying to lose fat, you need to take into account macronutrient levels, training, water intake. There's so many factors that come into losing fat rather than just losing weight and just stripping your body. You need to know where you're losing this weight from. So macronutrient levels and, and intake is it essentially just as important as calories in versus calories out, maybe even more important when trying to improve your overall body composition, which is how your body looks. If you aren't weight training or doing some sort of body weight exercise or training, you can't expect your body to identify that you're telling it to try and retain this muscle or tone your body. When doing this, the protein, keeping your protein high is going to be super, super, super important in retaining that muscle because that gives the body an indication that you're looking to keep your protein levels high and you're looking to retain the muscle that you have. It's all good. If, if you're losing weight, if you don't care about retaining muscle, if you don't care about toning up, if you're just unhappy with how your body looks and you want to be smaller, calories in versus calories out, research it, it's fine. But if you want to improve your body composition and how you look while losing weight, Fat loss is what you need to be doing. I know this video is super, super basic to anyone that actually knows what they're doing, but there are so many beginners and, and people trying to figure out how they can start, what they can do to get into the, what they can do to lose fat and where they can, and how to figure out these, that's these numbers that seem so complicated when you're first beginning, like macros, how much should you be having, protein, fat per gram, like it all seems so complicated when you're starting. But if you can watch this video and you can take away basic numbers and a general base for what you should be doing and apply it to yourself, you will see great results when you're trying to lean down. But just remember, take it slow, get in the right mindset and pace yourself over a certain amount of time. Don't rush it. If you guys have any questions about what I've said on this video or you want to know more or you want to learn more, just message me, I'm, I'm literally, I respond to literally every single person that messages me. So don't be afraid to message me. Don't be afraid to send me a DM. I will reply as soon as I can and get back to you with whatever your questions are. I just wanna say that if you guys enjoyed this video and you want a bit more in-depth analysis of fat loss and how to, and I'll do more like an advanced one once, uh, and do more like an advanced video, then, let me know in the comments below and uh, don't forget to give it a like if you learned something. If you didn't learn something, then just... I'm, I'm so sorry. So sorry, so, so, so... That's going to conclude this video, guys. I think it will be short, which is hard for me because I love to talk about health. I love to talk about fitness and I have a lot of knowledge that I, that I can share with you guys. So and through my experiences and through my mistakes. So I hope you guys took something away from this. I hope you guys and girls took something away from this video. And this isn't just a video for guys. This is also a video for girls. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I think I am doing next week, I'm actually doing a McDonald's mukbang challenge. So if you don't know what that is, it's eating a huge amount of calories as much as you can in one meal. So I'm probably gonna to go to McDonald's. It's gonna be my last big cheat before I really start nailing down for the end of the year before I go overseas. So look forward to that. Talking about how to lose weight and then going to do a mukbang challenge next week. Logic. I will see you guys in a new video every week.
at the moment unless I die. <laughs>